In this video, we're going to see how we can break down the execution of certain commands by groups of variables. This is best understood with examples, in which we're going to use the commands sort and summarize with the qualifiers by and by sort. And to do this, once again, we're going to use a do file. This is the do file I'm going to be using in this video, but you can also download the same do file with comments, which is available together with this class. So the first thing I want to do is load the data set as usual. So select everything and press Ctrl D. And now let's see how we can use the sort command. So I want to execute help sort. Let's take a look at the help file. And what I want to show you here is this. So what does sort do? Well, sort arranges the observations of the current data into ascending order. This is very important based on the values of the variable in var list. So if we look at the syntax, we execute the command sort by itself, but we also have to add a variable list. And you can use the option in. Stable is not very common, so I'm not going to talk about this. So let's give it a try, sort and var list. Close this. And before we do this, let's check our data. I want to browse our data. And here you can see the presses are just not in order. They're randomly assigned. And this data is sorted by foreign. So that means we have first all the domestic cars and then all the foreign cars. So you see they are in order. So what I want to do now is to sort all the observations by their prices. So I want to put the observations sorted by price in ascending order. And to do that, I'll close this and execute the command sort price. Control D, and once again, let's browse our data. And now we see that we have all the observations are organized in ascending order of price. But we can also sort the data by more than one variable. Now, how can we do that? Let's see. So here, I'm going to execute this command, which means I'm going to sort the data by the repair record. And then within the repair record, we can do it just by price. So first, I want to do it just by the repair record and then rep 78 in price, just to show you the difference. So select, execute, browse, and now we see we have organized our data by rep 78. So the data is sorted by the repair record. We have one here, two, three, and so on. But notice that within the repair record of two, our prices are not very organized. So they're just randomly assigned here. So what I want to do is within the repair record, I want to put my observations in ascending order of price. So we have first repair record one, two, three, four, and so on. And within these groups of repair records, I want the data to be sorted by price. And to do that, I come back to my do file and I choose the first variable I want to sort the data by which is rep 78 and then the second variable, which is price. And I could go on like this as much as I wanted. So I could first sort by rep 78, which should be together here, then by price and then by any other variable I want. So let's do this and see how it works. So you should note that price is going to change here. And here we are. So we have a repair record of two, but within the different groups of repair records, I have the data sorted by price. And as I said, you could go on like that forever. So back to our do file. Now I want to sort everything by price because I want to list the five least expensive cars. And to do that, I'm going to sort the data by price. Then I'm going to make a list showing first the make and then the price, which is sorted in F which means first through fifth. So these are the five least expensive cars. Let me close this and we will execute note how we're going to have the five least expensive cars listed here. And I can do the same thing for the five, five most expensive cars. So I'm listing the cars from the last into the fifth last. So the five most expensive cars. So here we have to the left, a list of the five most expensive cars. We have a total of 74 cars and the list of the five 
cheapest, least expensive cars. And this is one very interesting use of sort. Now let's try to use the option buy. What is buy going to do? So let's check the help buy. Buy is going to repeat a stata command on subsets of the data. And syntax is buy at the variable list that you want. So these subsets of data and then a certain stata command. So let's see how that works. Here we have by foreign. So what we're saying here is for each group of foreign, which are two groups, domestic and foreign, I want to tabulate rep 78, which is the repair record. So let's give it a try. And this is going to be a mistake. There's going to be a problem here. See, so this is saying the data is not sorted. So before we use the option by the qualifier by, we need to use, we need to sort our data by the variable we want to use with by. So we're going to sort the data by foreign. If we go back to our data here, let's browse our data here. You can see that it's now sorted by foreign. So we have first domestic cars and then foreign cars. And now that we have sorted this data, we can once again execute the command and it's going to work. So what is, what is this command going to say? It's going to divide the observations we have by domestic and foreign. And for each of these groups, it's going to tabulate the repair record. So let's execute this. And here we are. What we did here is by groups of foreign, domestic and foreign, we tabulated the repair record. The domestic cars have a repair record that ranges from one through five. And the foreign cars have a repair record ranging from three to four, three to five, so three, four, and five. So what we're saying here is that every foreign car has been repaired at least three times, while every domestic car has been repaired from one through five times. So let's go back to our do file. And we can do the same thing without having to type sort and buy separately. To show you this, First, I want to sort by headroom just to change the sorting of the, day, of the observations. So let's sort by headroom. And without having to sort first by foreign, I just use the option, the qualifier by sort and execute this. And it's going to work. So it did the same thing that we had seen before. So by sort foreign, divided the data into two groups of foreign cars and domestic cars. And for each group, it made a table of repairs, which is what we wanted. What I want to show you with this is that using the commands by sort and sort and by separately is just the same thing. So I prefer to always use by sort, then choose the variable. I want to sort the variable or variables. I want to sort my data by and execute whatever command I want. You should keep in mind that most data commands work with the by prefix, but not all of them. And this is going to be indicated immediately in their help file following their syntax diagram. Let's take a look at this. Let me show you. I want to see in help generate whether by is allowed. And you will see here after the syntax, it says by is allowed with generate and replace. And we can see by. So every time you're in doubt whether you can or not use by with a command, you just get a help for that command. And after the syntax, you should see whether by is allowed or not.